This is an emergency, I'm begging urgently, this is a serious case. Yeah, she probably punched me in the goddamn face. Pop, boop. <laughs> and you know something? I'll let it happen. Uh, can't, can't beat nobody building woman. Uh -uh, don't even try. Don't she, you try. She uh -uh. quicker, stronger, better, and she, gonna and she gonna smile when she beat your ass. No. Lose a fight to a bodybuilding woman? No, man. Keep your manhood and back off. Uh, no. I hate you. You oh, can. I'm okay. gone. <laughs> that is too funny. Just play sweet. You, you'll be fine. Yeah. So we are going to be doing you a five card spread. Okay. I see the cards right here that you chose. We're going to go on that. Uh, as you know, I'm a direct energy reader. Don't believe in ring zodiac signs or birthdays. I ask that you be open with the spirit and have fun. If you selected that seventh house, which is your relationship, you must ask that card a question. Can't get by it. Oh. All right, let me go over here, boom. All right, I got it. Now, we've gotten all that out of the way. I want you to say your first name so I can pray over these cards. Be some, be some, or be. Do I have permission to cut your cards? Yes, sir. All right, let's rock. We're going to go to your third house. Your sixth house. Seventh house. Ninth house and tenth house. All right. We're going to start with your first card. Your first card, I mean, your first card is in your third house. Your third house is ruled by Gemini. Mm -hmm. Your third house is ruled by Gemini and is governed by Mercury. Your third house represents communication. With Gemini being in this house, you need to take communication for what it is, information. And in this house right here, you have a message for the water, from the water, not for, from the water, in the upright position. Spirit is saying heavily, heavily, you know, somebody is pressuring you to make a heavy decision. Mm. So is it is it is somebody pressuring you to move away with them or to move in with them or to be with them? Cause Spirit said you got a heavy decision to make. So there is somebody that likes to be with me. Um and they, they even want a child. And they even want um, a child, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Well, Spirit said you got a decision to make. Now, what Spirit is saying about that decision? Spirit is saying one, two, three, four, five. Spirit said it's is 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 airing around January, February, March, April, May. It's airing around May. Something in May, a birthday or it's like May is when you're supposed to take off or take office or do something extravagant in May. Spirit says, don't do it. Don't make the baby until May. Oh, wow. They're trying. Well, the crazy. So the person's birthday is in May. And they want to try to make the baby in August so the baby would come in May. Told you my spirit don't play around, do it? No, 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 not at all. So yeah, spirit say, yeah, get pregnant in August, but don't make the baby until well, don't have the baby come until May. So yeah, it's okay to make the baby, it's okay to get pregnant by this person, accept the offer, but that baby needs to be born in May. So the dude got a plan and spirit just confirmed it. Would you like to ask this card a question? I feel like the question I would have already solidified just by saying to actually even have the baby. 
because I was wondering if the person is the right person. Oh yeah. I'm very hesitant. It's the right person. Y'all gonna be okay. Oh, not okay. Baron, how the oh, hell you goodness. do that? How do you do that? I'm a psychic. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go over here to your sixth house. Your sixth house is okay. ruled by Virgo and is governed by Mercury. Your sixth house is ruled by Virgo and is governed by Mercury. Your sixth house represents your future economics, future money, wealth, prosperity, growth, and investment. In this house right here, you have the eight of fire in the upright position. Go ahead, mama, get it. Mm. <laughs> Having the eight of fire in the upright position, these are volcanoes popping off. Pow, 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 pow. But Spirit said all these ideas that you have in your head to do something, to get a job, to go work somewhere, or to uh, start a business. Spirit said jump on the ball because it's going to happen. Now, that, that's absolutely right. Now this, I'm a little, I'm the Baron, and I like to go a little petty. Now this is gonna take off by August. <gasps> what? Yep. Okay, I love that though because I've been, I'm very, uh, I think a lot, like I overthink a lot sometimes, and mm -hmm. I think that's kind of what keeps me from doing things or certain things. Mm-hmm. But this. This definitely puts me in the right, right frame, and it confirms what I've already been thinking. All right. Would you like to ask this part of question? Is it going to be with my photography business? Spirit, is this going to be with the photography business? Health and healing, detached from drama, freedom. Health and healing, detached from drama. Are you taking? Oh. Damn, serious? All right, so with your photography business, you're taking pictures mm -hmm. of people or you're taking pictures of situations because Spirit is saying you need to take pictures of situations. Pictures of situations. So I've, been, I've been doing people. Uh, more like journalists, you know. So let's say if you're taking pictures of a starving village in Guatemala. Gotcha. You know, you got to, we haven't had no real photos other than what's on our camera phones and shitty video recording uh, that okay. captured the sense and the right angle of a, of, a, of a rainforest being wiped out. Spirit is saying this has to be more on the lines of health and healing. Uh, Pulitzer Prize photography, even if you're taking pictures of people, don't be standing up taking wedding photos and stuff. No, you need to take people in their natural environments, take pictures of the ghetto. You matter of fact, Spirit told me what to tell, what for you to call this. You got a pen and paper? Yeah. I'm not going to release this video for two months, so we're going to give your ass the time to get this together like I did that other woman. If you don't do this business and somebody else out there hear this title, and what spirit telling you, they're going to grab your idea, okay? You're going to take pictures of rustic old buildings with people in front of them. Homeless people in front of them. The whores, the scum, the drug addicts inside the area zone. And make it your mission to fix it. You understand how heart-wrenching that is if you go down the skid row? And take pictures and tell somebody's story and put a story behind a picture. Ooh. Mm -mm -mm. That would be amazing. That would be so amazing. But it all, it, everything come, it come together. It's come together. It's come together. Because that's what spirits say you need to do. So your photography business will take off and it's going to take off in August. And keep in mind, we got a real calamity coming in August. So take your cameras, blow them up. You may be selling them to the news media because... Martial law, blackouts, all that stuff coming around in. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Now we're going to go over here to your seventh house. What What's the name of the company, Spirit? Say, call it. What are your pictures? I'm sorry, say it again. What's the title of your pictures? What they need to be called? Yep. 
Now we're going to go over here to your seventh house. Your seventh house is ruled by Libra and it's governed by Venus. Your seventh house represents your relationship, the couple dating, matrimony. In this house right here, you have a message from the fire in the upside down position. Spirit says they want you to be a little less opinionated when it comes to your relationship because you're holding back marriage. You're holding back this person committing 100% you're holding back spirit say you need to just hush and let this person have at it okay <laughs> <laughs> Which, uh, I, I do that for myself I don't know if I do it with, I hate mm -hmm. it's all good would you like to ask this card a question mm -hmm. no nope, I already know between that and the, <laughs> the third house I already confirmed for me <laughs> It's your seventh house. You gotta ask that card a question. Oh, okay, okay. Um, hmm. No, I don't know, because I feel like I already it, got the answer. Spirit, is there anything I can do to make this relationship better? Is there anything I need to look out to him for? Oh, you know what, Spirit, how can I be a better woman so I can be the woman that he needs for marriage? Spirit, you heard her. How can she be a better woman for this fella? Power of joy. Oh, you so cute. Oh. <laughs> They said, power of joy, retreat to nature, and work your magic. Just be yourself. Okay. Just be yourself with less, with less mouth, with less questioning his, his authority of methods. You got everything in, in, in spade, darling. Okay. Now we're going to go over here to your eighth house. Your eighth house is, I mean, your ninth house is ruled by Sagittarius and is governed by Jupiter. Your ninth house represents... Your future, your reality, what will be, what will become. And in this house right here, you have the undines and the mermaids in the upside down position. Spirits say you finally decide to let go of all this emotional trauma and emotional baggage. Hello. Uh-huh. So uh -huh. why, why is spirit saying somebody either tortured you, tied you up, or kept you in bondage? They just keep saying you finally let that go. Um, the only thing I can think of is I had an ex that I felt like was my soulmate, and I, I'm trying to think the best way to say it. So I wouldn't necessarily find up, and you won't take this out, so I can't really say what that was, but... <laughs> no, 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 I can take it out. If you want me to take it out, okay. I'll, I'll take that, it out. That role play type of stuff, so not necessarily like really tied up, but um, I feel like mentally... He had like kind of started off playing the way that I was, like more so like a narcissist. Um, ah, that, so y'all, so okay. y'all tried role playing and y'all did a little D K D S M N. I don't know the word, but the, the D S M N K stuff, uh, mm -hmm. bondage stuff, and then he figured that was supposed to be the the go to all the time. So not necessarily, I just think what it was, so he would like randomly start things with me, like things could be good and fine and dandy, and then he'll find a reason to be mad at me. So it kind of like drew me crazy, like drew me crazy a little bit, because it's like, well, what am I doing wrong? I thought we were fine. Yeah. And it would just, it would just be random things out of nowhere, so it kind of mess with me, but then also my daughter's um, dad, we're no longer together, he's a different person. He would literally do things too. Yeah. So, like, okay. he kind of put me down personally, tell me that I'm, like, I'm ugly or I'm not the best looking girl that he's ever had. Jeez. Things of that nature. So, it was like, my, I started to feel like, well, dang, like, am I ugly? Like, why am I, you know, keep getting this luck in relationships? Um, maybe it's something that I'm doing, which I know that I have. A hard time letting go of things because I always want to fix, 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 or feel like somebody can change, and often they don't really change. Well, you found you a good one here. So, Spirit said you finally get comfortable enough to, to, to release the stones and float to the surface. You're good. So, yeah, good job. 
this person is a great fit for you, so good job. Awesome. Would you like to ask this card a question? And this one is with my um future. Like future economics and stuff like that. No. Nope. Economics, you're going to be good. Spirit gave you urban decay for the economics. This is for your future life. What's coming to you in the future? For this one, will I, will I finally be financially free in the next coming year? Spirit, uh, Spirit said yes in your sixth house, but I'll ask about this. Spirit, relate in, in her future, will she be financially free in the future? Spirit said energy healing. Father, husband, brother, son, meditate. Yep, you're gonna you're gonna be financially free, and you're gonna be with your mate. So y'all both gonna be financially free. Whatever he's doing is gonna piggyback yeah. off of you, and vice versa. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right. Now we're gonna go up here to your fifth card, which is in your tenth house. Your tenth house is ruled by Scorpio. I mean, your Capricorn, and is governed by Saturn. Why did Scorpio jump up? Okay, subconscious. Um, so, hold on, subconscious mind, subconscious mind. Uh, okay, spirit. Okay, your tenth house is ruled by Capricorn and is governed by Saturn. But spirit say this is this is a Scorpio style energy, meaning that somebody keeps living in the past. So now the you have the village car in the upside down position. This is saying that everything is going to go right for you. Everybody's going to see you as doing the right thing, moving on with your life. But spirits say this is not going to be good enough for you, Scorpio, because you're too busy worrying about are they going to see your faulties, your frailties, your demon. Spirit want me to sit that to rest and say they're not even going to mention it. Only if you don't mention it, they're not going to mention it. If you did a dirty deed with 10 guys before and your best friend knows she ain't ever going to mention it. You know what I'm saying? If you shot a midget and kicked it and kicked the dwarf in the stomach, nobody's gonna bring it up unless you mention it. You see what they're saying? Yeah. All right. So good job. Would you like to ask this card a question? Um, this one I don't have a question. Wow. So how did you like your reading? Them with your five cards. How you like it? love my reading especially the one with my photography oh yeah how he, how he gave you a business idea and thing that and because um wait, when was it i want to say maybe beginning of the year or at the end of last year there was a competition for sony where you come up with like a, a photography idea and they'll give you equipment or whatever you do the project and you submit to them and you'll be like on their website blah 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 mm -hmm. and for it i had just the idea of like black entrepreneurs blah 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 but like i wasn't chosen but this kind of brings me back to that even though everything well uh just solidified black people but it's still within the realm of me wanting to help people and showing how people can become better in a sense so it's like okay so I kind of was on the right track. Yes, and it's supposed to show their story. Don't just take a picture. Yeah. You take a picture with the purpose of a story, and that's and that makes you a photographer slash journalist. Gotcha. Okay. Spirit got, got spirit got your back. Absolutely. All right. Well, it was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you, Spirit. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> you heard that. Spirit said. <laughs> All right, then. Well, if you need to reach me, you know how. All right. All right. You have a great one. You too. Bye. Everybody, that was an excellent read. Quick to the point. She knew what she wanted. She she was she obeyed spirit. She listened to spirit, and it turned out pretty damn good. They even gave her an idea to help her boost her photography business, and that there is a priceless reading. All of that for sixty, seventy bucks. Ain't that something? Spirit be knowing. Spirit is here to help. So am I. 
positive comments below. All right, everybody, I'm the Baron telling you guys to trust the UN universe because at the end of the day, you all you got. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all. Thank you all. So we'll try. <laughs> I want you to speak to everybody. Yeah, I've been listening to a whole bunch of all that. That's what got me interested. I've listened to a bunch of you on YouTube. My like, man, this is really interesting because I've been having some experiences with that. I'm not really getting no downloads, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I'm just missing the symbol the symbology. So I don't know what's going on. I'm trying. Hmm. We've been to see. Yeah, over here. We'll see what's going on with them ancestors. They've been talking to me heavy, so we're going to see what's going on. So I'll put some Florida water on my hands. All right, so I give you the spill. As you know, I'm a direct energy reader. Don't believe in reading your zodiac sign or your birthday. So if I find out, trust me, it won't make a difference. Be open with the spirit and be open with the spirit and have fun. I'm going to deal you five cards. Each one of the cards are going to refer to uh, one of your ancestors. Uh, the first four cards is for feminine energy ancestors, but a male can come through. And the last card is reserved strictly for a male, but a, you know a feminine energy can come through. It's only uh, I ask that you listen to the message and not the character. Don't get caught up on the character. More so, the message is important because the ancestors coming to you, and they're gonna be. They're going to be bringing you good information. Uh, they could be one day dead or one million years dead. You, you, you may know you may not. So don't get caught up on the, on the character. Okay. All right. Now I've taken the liberty of shuffling the cards. I want you to say your first name so I can pray over them. Some more it be, some more it be, some more it be. Do I have permission to cut your cards? Yes, sir. All right. All right, here we go. First ancestor. Second. Third. I can hear that word, brother. Fourth. I would just land them. I would just land the cars down. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna go with his that message. Okay. Okay. Oh, trouble in paradise. I see. Yep. Spirits say there's trouble in paradise, pop. All right. Got him. So we're going to start with your first ancestor. Excuse me, I'm not tired. That's just spirit. And I'm going to start with your first ancestor. Oh. All right. This is... They're saying they're your sister. This is a female, but she keeps saying I'm his sister. Or she either related to you like a sister, sibling, something like that. And I don't know if you had like cousins that was a sister, but she keeps saying... She's your sister. Maybe you went to the, the Christian church and she's saying she's your sister or part of an organization. But this woman is specifically saying she is your sister. She knows you. Uh, if I want to if I want to describe her, she has a she has a kind of wide nose, but there's a scar on it. Either she got it scraped up, she got cut, or she has a little mole on it. But I'm seeing that I'm taking that to the scar. But she says she's your she says she's your sister, so she she's definitely related close. She you would have known her. Uh but her but she's represented by the enslaved prisoner in the upside down position. Now she is saying that you you finally decided to break away from something. These chains that you decided to break away from, you finally saw that this wasn't serving you or it was just hindering you or you was either putting yourself in a position on mm -hmm. purpose on purpose here here we go on purpose so uh, the song she just said uh, with Usher I uh, celebration with the guys I sacrifice cause I knew you could not be without me she's saying that she's telling me that's the the thing now her message to you is at this point, after you came to this, you need to focus on your strength. Say, keep doing what you know you can do. 
Not what you think you can do. Do the steps you know you can do. Do you know what she's talking about? Now, I was talking to my strength because I know I've been trying to tap in the spirit for the last year, almost a year now. Okay. I've been doing so, different things and trying different things, altars and meditations, and uh, uh, I took my first spiritual bath today. We gon' oh okay, good job. We gon' we gon' we gon' walk you through all that. By the time we get done with this ancestor reading, what I'm finna give you, man, you're gonna be 100 percent spiritually legit and intelligent on everything in these next 30 to 40 minutes. You got me? Yes, sir. Now, but I want to get what she's saying. So, what did you break away from that you found wasn't serving you no good? Were you into the whole Christian diaspora? I was. You know, I was not saying I was going to what they call um, the Yoke Fellowship, preparing to be a deacon of the church. There you go. She said that she's saying, remember I told you she said she say she's your sister and either from an organization or something? That's it. Mm -hmm. Now, she said, focus on your strength. You're stronger, you're more strong spiritually than you ever knew you could be. So, focus on your strength. So, this spiritual world is your calling. Would you like to ask this card a question? No, I don't even know. I want to raise that. Um, can it be any question? Any question. Well, I want, when I was meditating, mm -hmm. and I saw this. There was a gentleman sitting next to me. It was a real brief second. And who is that? Uh, sister Ancestor, who was this gentleman sitting next to him? He want to know. Who was this gentleman sitting next to him? Oh, <laughs> all right. The gentleman that was sitting next to you when you was uh, meditating, that was one of the archangels. And they was basically listening to your prayer saying, oh, wow. Like, he's waking up. So now you're going to be calling them by different names so that was like an art angel or a guardian angel there this she oh, saying me chills, man. Ooh. yeah they saying they paying some attention to you if you had fun because it was a brief second when i saw when it was a, it was black and he had red he was kind of like he was smiling at me mm -hmm. yeah it was, it was real quick but i saw it just enough information to see it they they you waking up now you can talk when they do that christian thing you're blind now that you, it's like they saying, okay, crossing their arms, like he waking up, he learning, yeah, that's all. Yeah, yeah, I believe it, man. I do. That's all right, though. But she glad you woke up. She said, keep focusing on your strength. Now we finna that's go over here. Mm hmm. Say that one more time. I can understand that. I understand what she's saying now. Yeah. All right. Now we're gonna go over here to your second ancestor. Okay. This ancestor is dealing with a relationship. I don't know if you're married or in a relationship, but this ancestor, okay. okay, this ancestor came in the form of Abba, Oba, Oba. If you know anything about Oba, she's over relationships. I mean, truly, Oba. she she's over relationship. If somebody is mistreating somebody in a relationship, she'll come and break them up. She's that type. Even when it's a relationship with the family, she'll come and remove it, etc. Now. Okay. The ancestor that's representing Arba, she's saying that, could you, I don't know how to put this because I ain't trying to cause no trouble because it ain't no trouble, but it got to be said this a, a certain way. Yeah, that's it, but it's all right. All right, could you, could you not let your wife lead so much? And I ain't trying to cause no trouble, but I'm saying it in the most cleanest way possible. Okay. So I don't. So she she basically saying that you are you are letting your wife make more decisions than what they should be. I'm trying to figure out what part of that is because um uh, I know what well this is my second marriage. My first marriage, my wife died of cancer for seventeen. I went seventeen years of marriage, so we had kids, and um, I would give her permission to like try to govern the kids, and that didn't work out too well. Hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. Now, now this this card is making sense because her message to you is she is your wife. Mm-hmm. So this is your deceased wife. Oh, Cause, well, really? Because her message is the mother, wife, sister daughter card and, yeah yeah and she's she getting five years ago and she got abba here as over the relationship so she is saying your current is 
making more decisions than what they need to be making. Maybe you're maybe you're giving the current wife a little bit of say so over her children, or maybe she's pushing you towards different religious practices that suit her and not you. But she's saying you need to stop letting her make more, just giving her more power than she needs at this moment. Uh, yeah, I hear you. I hear you. I receive that. Okay, because I was saying, why is this woman so involved? And why is it? Because she didn't say she was an ancestor or not. She just came as a spirit. Mm. That's why I was like, well, okay, that makes sense. Abba, she's over relationship, and it's it's her message to you is she is your wife. She just wanted to. So yeah, that's what you got to do. Would you like to ask your deceased ex-wife a question? Uh, uh I was just asking if she uh, still watching over the kids. You heard him. Is you still watching over the kids? Still, yeah. still watching over the kids. She said, "Follow your heart." She said, "Follow your heart. Nurture yourself, and let it go." She said, "She's gonna always watch over the kids. She more concerned about you. Follow, follow your heart. Nurture yourself, and let the poison go. Meaning, don't, don't take shit." So, but she said that she gonna right. always watch over the kids. She came back because she's looking at you, brother. She's concerned about you. Mm. Remember, she's telling you to follow your heart and nurture yourself. Gotcha. Jeez. Hey, <laughs> this is all right. <laughs> yeah. All right. I, kinda, I was wondering if she's gonna come through on this. Well, she she damn sure did, and she 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 talking to her husband. She said you she said you her husband, but she didn't want to tell me she was your wife until you admitted it. So I guess she kind of feel bad for leaving. Yeah, she was not. Yeah, well, it was a she had kind of said goodbye because it felt she probably didn't want to go. You know. Yeah. Yeah, she's all right. All right. Now we're going to go over here to your third ancestor. Uh, this is a male. Uh, this ancestor is represented as the man card in the upside down position. Now this male ancestor is saying, this male ancestor is saying, I, I'm going to ask because what they're telling me, I, I just can't believe because I'm seeing your energy. I just can't believe it. Are you, so your current lady that you're dating right now is she into the spiritual world no she's into the christian world still yep they're saying that she is applying more pressure than to you than you can ever know which is causing you to be offset now let me explain to you what this ancestor is saying to you and again i'm not trying to cause trouble in paradise so she is praying that this don't work out for this spiritual journey because she is afraid of it. This yeah, is I this. That. Yeah. This is your blockage. Cause he got the man car upside down, and he can't. And he say his message to you is detached from drama. So stop sharing this with her. If she can't understand, you put on your your you put on your dashiki and you go light your incense in your corner and you do your thing. Don't try to include her because this is what's making you stagnant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I believe it because it, it was uh, like I said, I was. It just when we had the pandemic, had everybody that got laid off from work. That's why I just started all this, this healing stuff and healing stuff and giving myself and. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It just I was kind of throwing my lap, man. I started reading, looking into it, and I really did going. Now I'm trying to tap in. And if and if this is done right, man, you don't know. If you, if if you if you if people do spirituality right, man, it could be such a beautiful thing, and it could it don't solve your problems. It help you solve your problems, and that's the, that. that's the real nature of this beast, you know. But yeah, but this ancestor say detach from drama. So just not don't argue with her about it. Don't try to explain it to her. If she don't know what an Arisha is, don't tell her what an Arisha is. If if you want to do you like your incense and do your prosperity pouches and pots and all that stuff, just let her see the blessing that comes in. But don't 
Don't don't don't even try to change her mind. She indoctrinated into this thing and she's causing you to slip because as men, we want our wives to support us. But this is one of them times that you're going to not have to have her support you because this is your journey, not hers. Mm-hmm. I believe that. Would you like to ask him a question? Oh, uh, I wish I knew who he was. Let me see. Let me see. Ask him who he is. And who are you? Brother, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? You you coming back to tell me something. Who are you? Give me time period, something. Health and healing. He was in the hospital. He died in the hospital too, Freedom. He died in the hospital overseas and come out of the closet. So he was a homosexual uh, ancestor. Uh, he died in the hospital overseas. I want to say some Polynesian style energy. He was either in Hawaii, Japan, military stuff back in those days. But he died in a medical wow. hospital. You know who he is? I do not. I didn't say it is that far, but I have no idea. But I do have a military, a rich military family. Okay, rich military. Okay, rich military history. I'm talking about this. He mm -hmm. was he was overseas. Now he met, he lived his life out overseas. He didn't come to the states. Yeah, I don't know. I know. I know. Uh, my my late wife, the one her dad just died. He died at home, but he was always overseas, stayed overseas. But um. Uh, it could be somebody back in the past. I, I never knew. You know what I mean? Like you count on it. it could be anybody. But I just know a lot of people in my family were in the military. Okay. Uh, I, I'm finna see. Can he show me something else? I wanted to uh, connect them to you. Because when you say a lot of people could be in the military, I don't want to be cliche. I want you to really know now. Okay. Okay. He was in the military, overseas, Hawaii, Polynesia. This is wartime. Vietnam style energy. Wartime. 70, 72, 70. Whenever the Vietnam War was, and that 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 color he's showing me overseas. Now, what's going on? What else? What can you tell him? Yes, oh, yes, yes, he said his name is George. He said his name is George or Georgia, George, George or Gregory. It's it's he keep throwing me the G with the R and the E and the O, but they they keep coming either way, jumbled up. George or Greg, one of those two. And, uh, wow. what else? Mm -hmm. what else? Hey, hey, that before I was born. So, I mean, yeah, this is, this is, this is before you. This is before you. Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. But he keeps showing me Vietnam era. Oh, that's something else. But yeah, he was, that? Greg or George. yeah, he was a homosexual man, died overseas, uh, in a medical hospital, but he said he's okay. Oh, he had the best life, and he said, come out of the closet. But his version of come out of the closet to you is stop trying to be so manly and get in, and get hurt on your side. Some things you have to do by yourself. Right. Mm-hmm. That's all he, just all he wanted to say. Okay, I will see you that. All right. So now we're going to go over here to your fourth ancestor. Okay, who are you? You've been over here jumping at the bit here. Okay. All right, this is an older woman. This is an older lady. Uh, something's wrong with her hand. She kept her hand covered up. Either she either had arthritis really bad in her hand and she kept it wrapped, or she used she got burned, or something was wrong with her left left hand. She's an older woman, a uh, really older woman. She came as an older woman. She did spell work. Uh, and I've been trying to reach out to you know, when I be meditating, trying to figure who in my past who was who probably was trying to like, but I'm trying to do now, but yeah, it does not sound familiar. Spirit, download directly to him who you are, cause you. She keeps saying she want to work with you. Who are you? Download directly to him. Download directly to him. She giving me a headache, so I know she. Uh, uh, it's gonna download directly to. You. She's an older woman though. She's an older ancestor, which woman? She has a messed up hand. Something's wrong with her hand. Uh, yeah, she's she's old. She's old school magic, and she's ancestor of magic. So, tell me about your great grandmother, if you can remember her. The one I, I, I don't remember. Her name. Her name was her name is Mama. Uh, she was full blood, some type of Indian, Native American. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. And I don't know. I, 
Yeah, I was like, she spent a lot of time when I was a child, but I don't remember that. My parents just kind of spent a lot of time with her when I was, she died when I was two. Okay, she died when she was two, but what's, uh, I, She's on my house, I wish you, I wish you could find out something that went wrong with her hand. If you can talk to somebody, which, her left hand, remember this. Right now, left hand, gotcha. She says. And I would talk to my mom. Mm hmm. Oh, you're going to talk to your mama about her? Yeah, I asked her to try to get more details. It's mm -hmm. left hand, but I, I, just, I know we're talking to her a lot about my mother. Her name is Mama Six Time. Well, uh, I got a picture of her. It's a baby. She's a baby. She's a regular baby. If you. Oh, you say you got, her, you got a picture of her and you got her name? Yep, she's on the altar over there. Then that's, then, then that's who it is. She says she want to work with you. That's that's what she was saying. She said, "I want him. I want him. I want to work with him." You need to call her. Call on her. I've been calling. I've been calling my grandmother, her daughter, because that's who I knew the most. Mm -mm. Okay. Call, call she's her. Not, she's not often. It's okay, because she got her message to you is take charge of the situation. You need to be the one talking to her. Nobody else. You need to be the talking to her and watch how she move for you. Give her the shit she like. She the one gonna work for you. Well, that's, you ask her a question. Can she tell me what she like? Because I don't know what they like. What you like? What you, what you want? What you want him to put on your altar? And take your time with this one, because he he here. He what you what you what you what you want to put on your altar? Retreating. Oh, serious? What you want him to put on your altar? <laughs> oh boy, do this do this for me now. Power of joy. I want you to do this for me. She say it'll make her so happy. If you go to the pharmacy, and I kid you not, man. If you go to the pharmacy and you get her some reading glasses, just a regular five ten dollar pair of reading glasses from Walgreens or something. Okay. And get this now. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, I love it. Reading okay. glasses and some marijuana from time to time. You said marijuana. Marijuana from time to time. I don't know where to buy that from, but I guess it's legal. I just got some doctor somewhere. All right. Yeah. Right. Or you could just get one of the little jitty bugs to bring you some. Or some. Yeah, yeah. I ain't never told. Or I mean, yeah. Or some CBD oil. Get some CBD oil and put it on a tobacco uh -huh. tobacco leaf and light it. Same thing. It it because it's not to get you high. It's it's just the essence of it. Okay. So CBD oil, good. Uh, some tobacco leaf and tobacco and, leaf. And then so because she says she want to smoke some weed. And she had glaucoma. She said she had glaucoma real bad. So you get her some reading glasses and some marijuana and she'll be okay. That's what you can get her. Yeah, I woke up I'm excited about that because I, like I, I don't remember. I just, I just, all I know, they told me I spent a lot of time. She's a babysitting me a lot of time with her. But I don't remember because I was two. Okay. But I have a picture of her. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you know her name, I man. You you better write your petitions to her and just get that woman her glasses and her weed. Cause you gotta think back in the day, back in the day those people they they didn't know how to read, and now you gotta think they've been up there they see all these texts and stuff and she and she was going blind, so maybe she read braille with her hand or something. But she like she wants some reading glasses. Yeah, I will get that for her. You know that that's, that's an easy trip tomorrow. <laughs> This is right there. Yeah. I'm trying to do one of the blanket I'm trying to see who I can connect. I'm going to call it all ancestors, the four coins, whoever gets put my main form there. Mm -hmm. My great grandmother, my grandmother, my, my, my dad's mother, my dad's dad, okay. and my two parents who I never, his, his parents, his great grandparents I never knew. They don't know. I just got their names and I'll have a picture of them. Listen, when you can connect with your ancestors uh, and they come to you, man, this is the best damn thing you can do. And, uh, and that's the thing. People think just because they put a ancestor up there that that ancestor is going to work for them. If that ancestor don't want to work for you, it ain't going to work for you. But when you find the one that want to work for you, whoa, they're going to make everything change. I hear I received that. I'm going to reach out to her. I know she's probably listening right now. Yeah, she over there. Just listen, just put some glasses on that thing. She want to read. She want to be able to see better. And she was going blind back in the day. And weed is good for glaucoma. She smoke up weed, and she look at, and then they just want to read the paper. Some people don't. Some 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 ancestors don't want tobacco or coffee. Some of them want the the technological shit that we got today. Oh, 
think she told me. I tried to call her, but it, yeah, I don't think that worked too well. I tried that for like a month. Mm -mm, mm -mm. They be they be wanting to be part of our world because they ancestors. They're not spirits. The spirit they can get coffee and cigarettes, tobacco and stuff. But you got to think these people lived before, and if they 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 lived in an era where they didn't have this, and if we got a TV, sometimes you can set your ancestor altar in front of the TV. I set my mama in front of the TV and put on a uh, Sanford and Son or something like that. Uh, her favorite movie is Demolition Man. I play that one day. And she and 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 just walk out, and she'll be watching that all day long. That's you see what I'm saying? I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Oh man, I'm gonna try to call the one of them. Somebody come talk to me. I'm here for a year now. <laughs> Listen, once they start talking to you and they start showing you some, be prepared because they're not gonna be nice. Because if they ask you to do something, they're gonna bother you. They're gonna annoy you until you do it. Yeah. All right. Now we're going to go over here to your fifth ancestor. Your fifth ancestor in, is coming in the form of a serpent, which is Oshimer. Oh, you. Whoo. Oshimer? Yeah, Oshimer, Oshimar, whatever you want to call him. All right. Mm -hmm. This ancestor is, is, I think this one is like a journalist or television personality or somebody who do a lot of talking, preaching, somebody that talks in front of people. And oh, and yeah, this person talks in front of people, and they always got the good word. I mean, always giving the good word, the delightfulness, and all of that other stuff right there. Uh, what's your name, man? Like my son, but he's here. Did you say it sound like your son? Yeah, my son is very talk. He's, he's, a, he's in journalism school right now. He's broadcast journalism. Okay, you see what they said. So your son got it from another ancestor. You see what they doing? Uh, that's what that's yeah, when you said it, it just sounded like my son. Broadcast journalism. And now, so I, this ancestor, this is what he was in. Journalism, broadcasting, all that stuff. So this means he came when Viacom was a thing. When television was a thing. So he's not that old either. Uh, okay. His message to you is trust. You need to start, you need to start trusting the information that's coming to you more. If somebody, if you hear somebody and somebody say X, Y, Z, do this, do that, or somebody walk up to you on the street, you're having a conversation with somebody and they tell you to do something, this information at this time in your life is proven factual. You can't go wrong for the next three months with the information you hear. They're not going to let any bad information and smoke just came across my eyes in front of my table right now. So this is going to be when it get foggy. So look, this information is going to always come at dawn or nighttime. Rather, it's going to be foggy or like fog blowing across. What's, what area do you live in? I live in Ohio, Central Ohio. So y'all got some mountains and some hills up there that sometimes fog come rolling down? No, it's flat right here, bro. It's real flat. It's real flatted. Okay. <laughs> Okay, well look at that. Where your son go to school at? Journalism. Yeah, mountain, hills, yeah. And it, okay. They saying it's gonna be like fog around that area, but when you so I guess when you go to go to see your son or if your son get into this and your son start researching, but he they're saying trust the information that's coming to you around a bunch of foggy hills. Yeah, foggy out there. Wow. Can I ask this in a question too? Yeah. I want to know, when I was walking in the park a couple of weeks ago, and I, and I, was, I saw this sign in front of you, and it just says, we are, we are spiritual beings having a human experience. It just came out of nowhere, someone rolling a sprinkler on a, a, a side of the side of the middle, the middle of the park. It was random. Completely random. Who did that? Was that, was that, was that, was that spirit communicating with him? Spirit, were you communicating with him? Were you communicating with him when he saw that sign in the park, or was it just somebody tagging and playing? What did you want him to take from that sign? Yeah. Oh shit! I'm freaking out. I got goosebumps. What do you want? I was asked, what did you want for him to take from the sign? He got right, like literally writing on something. A dude writing on a sign in his stuff, intelligent knowledge, right? What did you want him to take from that sign? Father, husband, brother, son. Go now. 
So that was that was spirit telling you, go now, get into this, do it, understand where you come from, because you got right, you are my son, and get and go now, start getting into it. You know what? And that's what I felt. To be honest, I was just curious because when I saw it, I was looking. I said, "I've been looking for one of these dogs." I looked and said, "Hey, I looked up because I'm starting to look for symbols." I said, "I ain't gonna be whispering in my ear. I haven't heard that yet." Mm -hmm. And I came right across the street to the corner. I saw that sign in my face. I was like, "Wow!" I took a picture of it. It's it just Thoth and Boy. That's so crazy because Thoth is writing. He is literally writing. <laughs> he literally. Yeah, yeah. And the card says, "Right, son, go now." They telling you, yeah, they want you to see, they're giving you the message, man, that just get on this spiritual journey. I am impressed. Man, I'm, I'm excited, brother. I, you know, I appreciate that shoes. I'm impressed. Yeah. The you had this lady on your altar and you didn't even know what she wanted. That is so cool. I didn't even go there. Well, I, I didn't even go there. Well, I was trying to go to my cafe. I, I, I grew up with my, who, I stayed with my grandma a lot when I got older. I knew her well. Mm-hmm. But I I don't remember my great grandmother. Yeah. Yeah, she's, like, she's looking at me right now. She's looking at the picture right now. Oh, you can hear me over there. <laughs> hey, here is the great grandma sitting up here saying, "Bring her some eyeglasses and some weed." Oh, <laughs> oh man, yeah, no, yeah. That's something. You wanna you wanna ask her another you wanna ask her another question? Just a random question because I'm smiling here and she's smiling too. She's happy. Well, I, I want. You said she was into some magic. And I'm trying to... Yeah, she was in the... She, man, she was in the heavy magic. Her magic is crazy. Well, well, I'm trying to get into magic. I've been trying to do that for a while. I don't know where to start. First, I thought I was scared, but at the time, progress, I'm not scared anymore. And I just be... I was... That's why I was trying to answer who... I said, I had to explain my blood who did this. Because I wanted to... So, how about, how about you ask her what type of magic she did? If you went to yeah, it, maybe... Grandma, Grandma, what type of magic you went to, Grandma? Okay, Grandma. She want to know what type of magic you went what type of magic you into? Fertility. Ooh. You can do it. Oh, boy. Ah, crystal. See the truth. Holy shit. Crystals? No, no. Her magic is baby making magic. So, brother, you know how to create voodoo dolls. She would she say she used to create dolls for people. Like, dolls out of mud. Clay, burn them in the kennel. Wow. Dress them up for people. That's okay. That's the left hand wrapped up. She burned the left hand. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, on the kennel. On the on the kennel. She burnt. Remember, I say her left hand was burnt up. Yeah. I mean, her left hand was wrapped up. Did she burn it or something? She used to make dolls out of clay, put them in the fire, and kennel them. Man, she do she do doll magic like clay dirt doll magic. That's old school shit. That that's more powerful than a voodoo ma than a voodoo doll. See, she grew up out there in Texas, out there in plains. Oh, oh. <laughs> ain't nothing but dirt. <laughs> yeah. Shit, man, you imagine you learn how to do doll magic. You learn how to make a doll. Do you know how sought after you is? Let's say you make a pregnant doll for somebody that want to have a baby. And then that doll translate and that woman, man, listen, this is magic that I can't even do. Well, I'm not going to do it because it's not passed down in my bloodline. I'm pretty sure now that she showed me what she was doing, I could probably access it. But this is for you to learn. Yeah, I didn't look up what doll magic is now. No, that's the thing. It's not written down. She gave you what doll magic is. Oh, she gonna, I have to get it from her. She already gave it to you through this. So, you got pen and paper. Pen and paper.
Yeah. You just did magic. You got me? I got you. He's gonna need the oven, dirt of clay, whatever the shit in, uh, extra to that person with the blood, hair, with et cetera, et cetera. Uh, fix whatever the helmet is and then put uh, their name on it. They can put the name on it. Send it to them. Yeah, and, and, but but keep in mind they gotta have their own petition, and you are gonna be doing it on their behalf. So man, this is a money maker for you. Yeah, I'm gonna ask about it. I'm just gonna reach out. It's it's gonna ask her to download how to do it. It's gonna take a while. I'm not gonna post this video yeah. for about two months. Okay. And even and I think even when I post it, I'm gonna leave out this part here, cause I don't want nobody okay. else learning this type of magic. Cause this is not no. Matter of fact, man, I like this reading, but I don't even want to post this. Because I don't want nobody else to know this shit. Glasses. She just wants some reading glasses and some uh, marijuana. Got that down. I got this now. I'll research uh, doll magic and yeah, I'll appreciate you. I knew that I was the right choice. I said, I'm going to call this one. <laughs> you got a long wiggling, good boy. I know. Long I know. Oh, man, I am so happy. Listen, once you figure this out, man, you got, you got my number. You text me. Baron, I understand. You text me, man, and man, you can chop it up on this right here, cause this is good magic. I mean, it's some, it's some of the most powerful magic. When people get these ancestor readings from me, they ancestors be giving them some old style magic that nobody never heard of, and that that blow this new age shit out the water. This I'm starting to know a little bit more about her before she passed. And no one knows. No one knows. It's like it's lost. Well, she she coming back and she want to talk to you. Ain't that something? Yeah, it is. I'm going to get everything she needs, too. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, brother. I'll keep it in the loop. I appreciate you, brother. Yeah, keep me in the loop. You have your good one. You too. Bye-bye. All right, everybody. I, uh, I cut a lot of this particular reading out at the end because I don't think his ancestor wanted me to put out the business but let me just tell you I, the, the 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 type of magic this brother doing I mean she I, looking at her I realize that I can do it but it's not passed down through my bloodline and my lineage so it wouldn't be as powerful and once this brother learned how to do this type of magic that they just showed him this type of shit blow everything out of the water I mean it's no different than when spirit told the lady in one of my videos not to harness moon magic because her ancestor did a taboo and harnessed the energy of a thousand moons to hurt somebody. I mean, it's it's things sort of like a form of wind magic. It's it, these ancestor readings are so important, and that's why I say we need to connect to our ancestors because they've been there, done that. They know. They wiser. They know. And we just tap into him. And this brother, again, I wish I can show you what his ancestors showed him that he can do and the vision they showed me. But it's for him. And when he release it, then I release it. I say the clip of this. I'm going to tell myself to say the clip of this or tell it. And I'm going to label it in my folder on a date. So when he say, Baron, you can release it. Once he done got it out there, I'm going to release it. And y'all going to see what I'm talking about positive comments below all right everybody i'm the baron telling you guys to trust the you and universe because at the end of the day you all you got please like share and subscribe thank you all thank you all soul tribe